Hello friends, welcome to GT Science Tutorial. In this video, I am going to explain about the dependence of entropy on temperature and volume. That is, we are going to derive this formula. ds is equal to Cb by T into dt plus del P by del T V into dV, where all the letters have their respective meaning. This is one of the most important derivation in thermodynamics that is frequently asked in the examination as well. So in this video, we are going to derive this formula and we are going to see how does the formula change for ideal gas as well. So let's start. We know that entropy is a state function that is it only depends on the initial and the final state as well as entropy is the function of temperature and volume that is with the change of temperature and volume there is change of entropy. So we can write that let entropy is a function of temperature and volume we are considering entropy to be the function of temperature and volume so it can be written as s is equal to function of temperature and volume where this s represents entropy as this is the function we can apply euler's theorem of exactness over here that is the theorem of mathematics so applying euler's theorem of exactness according to Euler's theorem of exactness we need to take the full derivative of the left hand side that is ds will be equal to partial derivative of this s with respect to temperature at constant volume into full derivative of temperature plus we will do the same thing for this v as well that is del s by del v t d b so this is equation number one if you see the required expression in that required expression there is del dt there is dv as well but these two terms these two values are replaced by some other quantities that we are going to do okay so this is equation number one as we are reading thermodynamics then obviously first law and second law of thermodynamics will be there so according to according to first law of thermodynamics so what is the mathematical expression of first law of thermodynamics yes you are correct dq is equal to d plus p dv where this dq is the change in heat energy of the system d is the change in internal energy of the system and p is the pressure as well as dv is the change in volume also second law of thermodynamics second law of thermodynamics gives us the mathematical expression that is dq is equal to t into ds so we can equate these two equations let us consider this equation to be a and this equation to be b so equating equating a and b as the left hand side of both the equations are equal then obviously right hand side will be equal and if we put the values and if we find the value of ds then t will divide both of them that is de by t plus pdv by t let us consider this to be equation number two so we got this much now there is internal energy and we know that internal energy is also a state function so it is the function of temperature and volume as well so we need to consider that too let e is the function of temperature and volume we are considering internal energy to be the function of temperature and volume as well then it can be written as e is equal to function of temperature and volume then Euler's theorem of exactness can be applied over here that is del E by del T V dt plus del E by del V t dv this is equation number 3 now from equation number 3 we can apply the value of de to equation number 2 so using using equation number 3 in equation number 2 then what will we get 
ds is equal to de by t is over there that means this whole value will be divided by t so we can write 1 by t del e by del t b d t plus del e by del v t dv into 1 by t plus there is this p d v by t as well so we need to write it over here p d v by t we get this much now see this second and third term is there anything common yes you are correct there is something common over there that is 1 by t 1 by t is common dv dv is common so we will take both of them common 1 by t in front so it will be del e by del v t plus p into dv so we get this much let us consider this to be question number 4 so here what do we get here the value of ds is this much and according to equation number 1 the value of ds is this much look at here in left side both of them have ds the tt tt as well as dv dv are common so obviously their coefficient will also be same in order to make these equations equal right so comparing comparing equation number 1 and 4 we are comparing this equation number 1 and 4 then what do we get del s by del t v d sorry del s by del t v that is the coefficient of dt is 1 by t del e by del t v uh, this can further be written as there is a term del e by del t v try to remember this this is the mathematical form of molar heat capacity at constant volume that means this can be replaced by cv right so it can be written by cb by t because del e by del t v is equal to cv molar heat capacity at constant volume this is equation number 5 okay this is equation number 5 now similarly if we compare the coefficient of dv then how much will we get del s by del v t is equal to this much value right 1 by t into del e by del v t plus p we get this much let us consider this to be equation number 6 so we have done this much now let me erase the unnecessary portion to do the further calculation let me erase this part now we have to rearrange equation number 5 and 6 in order to find the required values let me read this portion okay so rearranging rearranging equation 5 so while rearranging we need to be careful that we need to find the value of this del e by del t v we get del e by del t v is equal to t will come this side this will be t del s by del t v we get this much now there is t in the denominator over here so let's differentiate this equation with respect to v differentiating <coughs> differentiating with respect to v at constant at constant temperature so we are differentiating this equation with respect to volume at constant temperature so this will be del by del v del e by del t v is equal to as t is constant over here so we won't have to uh, differentiate it so t del by del v into del s by del t v we get this much this can further be written as del into del means del square e by del v del t is equal to t del square s by del v del t we get this much let's consider this to be equation number seven we'll do the same thing for equation number six. First of all we need to rearrange rearranging six and while rearranging we need to find the value of this del e by del v t so for that t will come this side and p will come this side i'll write the value directly over here del e by del sorry del e by del v t will be equal to t into del s by del v t 
minus p so we get this much now see there there is v in the denominator so we need to differentiate this equation with respect to t let me write it over here differentiating differentiating with respect to temperature at constant at constant volume so how much will it how much will we get if we differentiate it again i'll write directly there will be del square e by del t right so del b into del t will be over here is equal to see we are differentiating with respect to temperature so obviously this will behave as variable so they uh, we can apply product rule over here that's it t del square s by del v del t plus del s by del v t minus del p by del t v let me explain you what i did over here we first of all consider this t to be constant and find the derivative of this so t into there will be double de derivative of square of derivative right so del square s by del v into del t plus now we need to consider this value to be constant and we need to find the derivative of this so del t by del t will be one so we cancelled it and the derivative of this will be this much right this is equation number how much uh eight now look at here if we compare equation number seven and eight comparing comparing seven and eight if we compare these two equations then what do we get left hand side left hand side same one term one term same now this remaining term is extra over here then obviously its value must be zero in order to uh, make it equal with this so we can write del s by del v t minus del p by del t b is equal to zero if we take this value to that side it will be this del s by del v t minus del p by del t v is equal to sorry these two will be equal so we get this much let us consider this to be question number v i i i sorry i x that is nine so we got this much now it's time to write the conclusion over here let me erase this portion okay i hope you understood this much and you are copying all of these okay look at here our equation number one was ds is equal to uh, del s by del t v dt plus del s by del v t dv this was equation number one right now look at here this term del s by del t v where do we find this term here its value is cb by t so in this place we can write cb by t over there right similarly this term del s by del v t where do we find this term here its value is del p by del t v so we can apply equation number six sorry equation number five and nine using using equation number five and nine in equation number one then what do we get ds is equal to in this place we can write cb by t dt plus in this place we can write del p by del t v dv and this was our required mathematical expression so this formula shows us the dependence of entropy on temperature as well as volume this is the complete derivation for this formula now let's see how this formula changes for an ideal gas to see the dependence of entropy on temperature and volume for ideal gas let us write the formula of temperature uh, dependence of entropy on temperature and volume first that is ds is equal to uh, cb by t into dt plus del p by del t into v into dv so this is the mathematical expression that gives us the information about the dependence of entropy on temperature and volume that we have already derived this formula now let's see for ideal gas so for ideal gas for ideal gas the ideal gas equation can be applied pv is equal to nrt right let us consider this to be equation number one now let's find the value of p over here so it will be nrt by v right so p is equal to n r t by v now let's find this value for this we need to uh, differentiate this p with respect to t at constant volume v so differentiating 
डिफ्रेंसिएटिंग विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू टेम्परेचर एट कॉन्स्टेंट वॉल्यूम देन हाउ मच विल वी गेट दैट इज डेल पी बाई डेल टी एट कॉन्स्टेंट वॉल्यूम वी इफ वी आर डिफ्रेंसिएटिंग एट कॉन्स्टेंट वॉल्यूम वी देन दिस मच क्वान्टिटी विल बिहेव एज कॉन्स्टेंट एंड आर बाई वी एंड इफ वी डिफ्रेंसिएट टी देन ऑब्वियसली डेल टी बाई डेल टी विल बी वन सो वी डोंट हैव टू राइट दैट इक्वेशन नंबर टू राइट नाउ वी नीड टू अप्लाई दिस वैल्यू इन इक्वेशन नंबर वन देन देन इक्वेशन वन बिकम्स देन इक्वेशन वन बिकम्स we can write ds is equal to cb by t cb by t into dt plus in this value we can write in this place we can write and r by v into dv right this is equation number 3 here in this question this if cb is for one mole so for n mole for n mole of gases we can write n over here and cb so it will be ds is equal to and cb by t into dt plus and r by v into dv now we need to integrate this equation integrating integrating under respective limits integrating under respective limits if we do that we'll get a form like this from s1 to s2 ds plus this whole value that is uh, is equal to and cb will behave as constant and it will be t1 to t2 dt by t plus n r v1 to v2 dv by v then we know that this is s2 minus s1 right and cv and it will be ln t2 minus ln t1 because the integration of dt by t is ln t and if we uh, put this t1 t2 over there then this, this will be ln t2 minus ln t1 the same thing will be over here and r ln v2 minus ln v1 this is a simple uh, mathematical formula we can write del s over here del s is equal to n cv ln ln t2 minus ln t1 means ln t2 by t1 plus n r ln v2 by v1 so this is the formula for ideal gas similarly this formula can further be written as if we want to write log over here then we need to multiply by 2.303 and cv log t2 by t1 plus n r sorry here also we need to do the same thing 2.303 n r log v2 by v1 so these are the two formulas that shows the dependence of entropy with temperature and volume for ideal gas these two formulas are used in numerical problems as well it will be easier for us to understand the derivation with the help of this numerical problem i have already written the question over here calculate the entropy change suffered by two moles of an ideal gas being heated from a volume of 100 liters at 50 degrees celsius to 150 liters at 150 degrees celsius and the given value is cv is equal to 7.88 calorie per mole per kelvin so first of all we need to write the given data so given n is equal to 2 that is 2 moles is given over there the initial volume is 100 liters the final volume is 150 liters right the initial temperature is 50 degree celsius the final temperature is 150 degree celsius here we need to uh, change this degree celsius to kelvin for that we need to add 273 273 to each of them plus 50 plus 150 then how much will we get we'll get a uh, 323 kelvin and 423 kelvin and cv is given over here that is 7.88 calorie per mole per kelvin 
so for calorie you need the value of r will be 1.987 uh, calorie per mole per kelvin calorie per mole per kelvin so these are the given data and we need to find the value of the change in entropy so ds therefore ds will be equal to there is a formula what is that formula uh, n c v l n t2 by t1 plus n r l n v2 by v1 this is the formula for ideal gas right let's put the values over here in place of n we need to write 2 into in place of cv we need to write 7.88 ln t2 means how much 423 divided by 323 plus 2 into 1.987 ln v2 means how much 150 by v1 means 50 so we got this much if we put these values in calculator then this first value will uh, give us 4.25 plus then second values give us 1.66 and if we add them we'll get 5.86 calorie per mole per kelvin so this is the value of the change in entropy for this particular question here we can see that we have applied the formula of dependence of entropy on temperature and volume for ideal gas that we just derived earlier right so this is how a numerical problem is asked and this is how you solve the question i hope you understood everything about this video in this video we understood the derivation of dependence of entropy on temperature and volume similarly we uh, derived the formula for the dependence of entropy on temperature and volume for ideal gas as well as we did a numerical problem that's all in this video if you like the video please share this video as much as you can and thank you for watching the video